While it's a way of life for some people and others just simply love to enjoy a day on the water. Regardless, the Elizabeth River is very important to our area. It could also be dangerous as sea level rise continues, but the coming years will bring a special center to study the river and its effects on the south side. Then your side's Chris Horn has this story new tonight. The object behind this whole project is to get the community involved and businesses and organizations to show them the best ways to be resilient and fight sea level rise. We're working with all the area universities, citizens, businesses to be the place where you can learn what's the latest. And what is the latest in Hampton Roads? So the Elizabeth River Project says turning the tide will need a team effort. That means waterside homeowners will need to dive in and the new lab will show them how. Techniques such as creating a living shoreline. Elizabeth River Project has a cost share program to help homeowners put in living shorelines and or uh, rain gardens that are like mini sponges that can suck up water in their yard. And that's what the lab itself will have too. Shore will gradually slope up and it will be restored wetlands, oyster habitat, and native plants. It will feature a research dock, circular boardwalk so people can get out and over the wetlands, fishing for kids and classes both inside and out. The 6200 foot lab will be solar powered. It will offer charging stations for vehicles and use captured rainwater for the toilets. It will bear the name of lead donors Louis and Prue Ryan who used to live near the site. It's a former American Legion marina and the area also once had a knitting mill and a torpedo factory. That was all in the past. At present, Rieger says the seas in Hampton Roads keep rising. Anticipated by 2050 to be another approximate three foot. You're looking at almost the top of this existing bulkhead here uh, by 2050. The completion date for this new laboratory on Colley Avenue is set for maybe late spring, probably by early summer of next year. In Norfolk, Chris Horn, 10 in your side.